I was the beneficiary of an excellent uh, and heterogeneous education. Uh, I started going to school in Mazar Sharif and then moved to Charbolak, which is uh, 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 at that time close to the Soviet border. And uh, went to school on a horse uh, and sat on the floor. Uh, and when the teacher walked in, we all had to stand up. Uh, but uh, in Mazar, uh, I got a very good, solid, basic education. Mostly, uh, you had to learn uh, from the teacher. And then uh, went to high school initially in Mazar, then moved to Kabul to the Ghazi Lycee in Kabul. And uh, I won a scholarship then uh, to be an exchange student and came to live in series in San Joaquin Valley in California and benefited uh, from the American education system, which had uh, different aspects uh, and methods to it than the Afghan education system, where I had to uh, do more critical thinking than merely uh, repeating uh, what the teacher had said. And then went back to Afghanistan and uh, uh, went to Kabul University for a, a few months, then went uh, to the American University of Beirut in Lebanon, uh, which had a huge impact uh, in terms of broadening my horizons, uh, learning about the Middle East, uh, and uh, uh, recognizing the importance of these uh, international institutions where people from different parts of the world, uh, professors and students, uh, come together uh, to, to learn and share and then came back to America and uh, got my PhD from University of Chicago, uh, which particularly excelled in questioning everything, uh, challenging professors, challenging each other. And uh, then, you know, of course, based on uh, that educational background, I uh, was lucky uh, to contribute then, uh, first teaching at Columbia University, doing research at a place like the Rand Corporation, then a series of government experiences, and uh, now in, uh, in, in trying to contribute in terms of the private sector. And given how much I have uh, benefited uh, from education and what a difference it, 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 uh, it, uh, it, it made in my life, I wanted to uh, give back some uh, especially to the uh, Afghan children uh, uh, because uh, they are in particularly disadvantageous position given the experiences of war and conflict and extremism and oppression and backwardness, how they can contribute because I see in the Afghans uh, given the history uh, over a several thousand years, and in myself and people li uh, like me, the potential that they could if they had the opportunity to contribute. Well, one of the reasons for uh, wanting to establish this foundation uh, is to introduce uh, new methods, taking Afghanistan circumstances into account, uh, that uh, Afghanistan can leapfrog. Uh, it doesn't have um, very many uh, schools because of the destruction of schools that existed before uh, due to the war, but also because of the population growth. Uh, it doesn't have enough teachers. It doesn't have enough uh, books uh, for various uh, classes that are taught. It, as in the case of telephone, where Afghanistan didn't have uh, landlines uh, in 2001 and 2002, now it has 18 million cell phones all across Afghanistan connecting people with each other and with the world. I'm hoping that we can introduce methods, uh, educational methods, can, that can try uh, to take advantage of technology so Afghanistan can uh, adapt to its circumstances, methods that a lot of people can be served uh, without all being in uh, uh, the same classrooms, uh, uh, with the same teachers or similar teachers. The foundation is a small step uh, to uh, help the children of Afghanistan uh, uh, to 
think critically, uh, to acquire skills uh, where they can contribute to their society, to their country, and to the world.